Dreaming big is a, is, is a wonderful and amazing tool and, and it does actually help you enact change. If you believe it to be true, you can. Hi everyone, I'm Denny Directo, host and producer and a longtime fan of the It Gets Better Project. And I am here with actor, singer, and dancer, a true triple threat, Kyle Dean Massey. Kyle, how's it going? Great, thanks for having me. Absolutely, I'm excited to talk to you uh, about your It Gets Better video 10 years later. But before that, I wanna take us a few years before that. Uh, what was life like growing up for you? You know, for the most part, it was it was pretty great. I grew up in Arkansas in a small town, um, and I think what made it great was I had amazing parents. They really celebrated anything that I showed interest in. You know, as I got a little bit older, I definitely faced the typical bullying that most kids do in their junior high and high schools, but it, it was Arkansas, you know? Right. It's, it's not necessarily like a, a cultural epicenter. Was there ever a time when you felt like it wouldn't or couldn't get better? Oh gosh, sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, you would hear other people talk about like girls and making out and all those things and all the things they felt about it. And when you don't feel those things the same way- You couldn't way, relate. No, no. And you're like, yeah. okay, well, I'm just odd. Was there a moment where you realized that you were a, a part of the LGBTQ community? And what was that like for you? You know, not really. Yeah, it just- yeah. I went to yeah. college and like was in the theater program. <laughs> Uh, that was really what it was. I, and it was my first time outside of Arkansas where I was meeting um, people that were gay that were that were just normal people in the community. So it, it was like my first taste of like, oh, these are just normal people who are gay. Right, what was the reaction when you did finally come out to that tribe, to your close friends and family? You know, my parents, they took it like a little hard at first. I, I do think it's just natural that they won't try to put their own expectations on their kids' lives. Sure. They think, I had a great life, I have a great marriage. Now my kid isn't gonna be able to get married and have kids and do that sort of thing. But they got yeah. over that real quick. I'm curious, Kyle, do you remember uh, what inspired you to make your It Gets Better video back in 2010? Yes, I, I do, actually. It, it was sent to me by Douglas Carter Bean, who's uh, a playwright and scriptwriter. He sent me that initial video and I felt really moved by it. And I actually called my manager and said, hey, listen, I, I think I wanna just make one of these. Agents and managers were still kind of like, keep them guessing, you know, like, why do you need to talk about your, you know, like that was still the thing. It kind of right. still is a little bit, but, um, but he supported me in making that, and so I did. Um, have you watched it back since you made that video? No, well, I haven't seen it in at least 10 years. Well, then let's do that right now for you. We're gonna play your, uh, a clip from your original It Gets Better video. I grew up in Arkansas in the 80s and 90s and took dance lessons. So basically that's it. I mean, I was endlessly made fun of, but I loved it. You know, I loved it so much. I eventually quit. I mean, I think by the time I was 11 or 12, like right around that puberty time is when um, I was just made fun of so much that I actually gave it up. Don't ever let anybody talk you out of doing something that you love because it makes you feel different. I know there are a lot of people out there that are in their high school drama productions or take dance class or do things that boys aren't supposed to do or girls who do things that girls aren't supposed to do. And let me tell you, keep doing them. Keep doing them because one day you could end up on Broadway. You know, you speak about something uh, that is very important in that video and that is the thing that you gave the, the, th the thing that gave you the most joy and that made you unique is something that you gave up because it made you feel different. I mean, looking back, what would you tell that boy who quit dancing because of bullying? Yeah, I, you know, I, I feel like I, I'd have more to say to the bully now, I think, than, yeah. the, than the kid. <laughs> I'd be like, who are your parents? Someone needs to yeah, talk to like, you. Who raised you? I guess to the kid that maybe would stop now, I, I would just be like, don't. <laughs> It'd be pretty easy. You know, you're not hurting anybody and, you, and you're doing something that you like. I think you sh that should be celebrated. Do you feel like we've gotten better at breaking down those barriers of like what makes something a girl thing or a boy thing? Or do you feel like there's a lot of work left to do there? Uh, ish, you know, I think yeah. it's, I think it's gotten better for sure. I definitely think there's a lot of work to do. You know, I, I often see, um, my, my family is really big into sports and like the female sports teams are always called like the lady somethings or, right. the, you know, it's like, there's that, that thing before, which is right. kind of like, you're a little different cause you're the, the lady basketball team or you're the, mm. the, the lady 
soccer team or something. Like things like that bug me still. Do you remember at what point in your life you were at and what was going on when you made that video in 2010? Yeah, um, I was doing a Broadway show called Next to Normal. It was one of the hardest shows I've ever done. That was like my whole life. And um, it had a huge fan base. And I kind of just thought people are coming to see this show and they think that we're just so special, you know, being up in the, the actors in the show on Broadway. I just wanted to let them know that like, it, it wasn't always that way for me. Like it, it was tough kind of getting to that point. So I think that was kind of what precipitated it. Well, I say let's take another look at another clip from your It Gets Better video. My senior year of high school when it started, I was done. I, I asked my parents if I could skip it and go to college. People would say, you know, high school is the, is the best years of your life. Uh-uh. I mean, how depressing is that, first of all? Like, it's all downhill from 18. Um, I'm telling you, the best years are yet to come. All that bullying takes a toll, and it's so hard while it's happening. But if you give it time, it'll get better. It will. It'll get better, and it'll be a good thing. You touched on something there that I feel like has evolved over the years. And it's that myth that high school is the best years of your life. You said right there, uh, uh, no. Uh, did you make up for it? I mean, what are some highlights that you got to experience after high school um, since making that video? I mean, my entire life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like it started, your entire life started after high school? Yeah, you know, it's weird. I, I guess I like to say I've lived several lives. I feel mm -hmm. like, and I feel fortunate for all of the lives I've led. And I do yeah. think that's like, that was almost like a different life in a lot of ways. Um, I'm not saying I've like totally left it behind and cut it off, not at all, but um, it's evolved and changed a lot. And even watching that video, I mean, things have gotten better since that video 10 years yeah. ago. I mean, it just keeps getting better. What a perfect punctuation mark on an amazing story and an amazing interview. Kyle, thank you. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Kyle Dean Massey, and I'm here to tell you, it gets better. <laughs>